let's uh, look at now how we can create this sort of a rope or cord. Um, and it's basically an extrusion along a path. How this works is you need two curves. You can actually do it with a polygon as well, but let's just do it with a curve. I'll take the pencil tool and I'll just draw a curve like so. Then I'll, I need to create a closed curve. So there's the circle here, which I'll create. But what we want to do is orientate the circle so that it's heading towards the curve. So basically like it's, you know, it's X, it's a uh, Y is sort of running up the curve, which is good. Select the uh, circle and then shift select the curve. And we'll go up to uh, surface, extrude, have a look at the options. And we'll keep it as polygons. And again, we'll change it to control points. So just double check that they're by resetting the settings, you might see it's set to nerves as well. And extrude. All right, so notice the angle of the curve. Now this is because if we go into the extrude, its fixed path is turned off. But if we turn that on, so I'm just pressing one for on, it's going to extrude along that path. Let's uh, reverse reverse it because it's sort of facing the opposite direction. And let's add some additional subdivisions. So I'll just open up the modeling toolkit, go into smooth, and that's enough. And if we go back down, and let me just take side for a second. If I take this curve, if I edit the curve, turn it down, then my geometry is going to update a bit as well. So I can sort of, you know, make changes and move things around. Do all sorts of crazy things. You can even the shape of this curve. Maybe you want to make it, you know, like a, a big python. And if we have a look at the extrude options, Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, so the input, make nerve circle, that's all good. Extrude. Oh no, that's the same. I thought we had uh, tether. Oh yeah, we can do rotation. That's kind of Scale, scale, that's it. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, we could taper it down with scale, which is pretty crazy. So again, you know, if we duplicate this, we can make alterations. I'm probably going to press B key again. soft select and then B and scale to change the amount of fall off on that soft select and just go around and make some alterations and maybe like making some roots or something If we 
duplicate that and clone it. And sort of, you know, start to make a whole heap of interesting detail. Okay, so that's with the extrude with two curves. 